Welcome to Microsoft Teams for Mobile Devices. The Teams platform for mobile devices has been simplified, making it convenient to use for both parents and students. So let's get started. First, go to the App Store and search Microsoft Teams. Once you've found it, let's download the app to your phone. Once the application is fully downloaded, you're going to want to sign in using your student's email account. Keep in mind your student's email is his first and last name at students.myfbs.org. Now that you're signed in, Teams is going to want to send you some notifications. Let's allow that. Now, let's take a look at the app. Once you're signed in, there are several icons along the bottom of the screen. Let's take a look at the chat icon, the second one from the left. If I want to chat with someone, I simply go to the top left-hand screen and let's search. I think I need to chat with Mrs. Christian. I've got a question for her. Once I find her name, I can click on it. Now I'm going to see several different ways that I can communicate with Mrs. Christian. Well, of course her email is there, but there's also a text bubble. That represents the chat feature. Next to that is the video camera. I could actually have a video conference call with Mrs. Christian. And then there is the phone call. I can literally make a call straight from my Teams app. The video feature will be used by all of our K3, K4, and K5 parents as they schedule one-on-one -on -one teaching times with their child's teacher. But for now, let's just chat. I can compose a message. Let's just say hi for now. Once I've composed my message, I can hit the purple airplane just above the keyboard on the right. There, it's sent. You might also notice that there's a shortcut to the video and the phone call feature in the top right-hand corner. Let's head back to Teams. Looking across the bottom, the next icon is the actual Teams icon. When I click on Teams, all of my classes will appear. Right now, I'm enrolled in seventh grade classes. I have Algebra 1, Word Processing, English, Physical Science, World History, PE, and even Bible. Wow, that's a lot of core classes. You might also notice that some of your classes have the words office hours, or in the elementary, it will say home room. An office hour or a home room is simply a class team where that teacher will be going live at different times throughout the day. It's kind of like a virtual classroom where you can video conference with your teacher and your classmates and get further tutoring or ask questions about the recorded video lessons. So let's take a look at those classes again. If you'll notice, all of my classes have the word general underneath the title. Let's see what that looks like. When I click on the word general, it's going to bring up several things. First, the tab across the top says post. A post is simply a conversation. It could be an announcement. Um, this is also where our teachers in their home rooms and office hours will go live. If I were logged in to my home room and it was time for my teacher to go live, I would receive an announcement in the post section of the general tab inviting me to join the meeting. Next to the post tab is the files tab. The files tab contains class materials. Now, these are things that my teacher might want me to see, like vocabulary chapter 18 sounds really important. So underneath the general section of each class, there are two features we will be using. Post, remember, that's where my teacher will go live. And also, I can chat with him here in the post section. He can answer questions and address issues the class might need. Let's back, head back over to the home homepage. If you will notice under each heading called general, there are also several sections. We're gonna call those channels. Seventh grade English has three channels set up, week 28, 29, and 30. A channel is just a way to organize a class. I see here that Ms. Robles has organized my physical science class by chapters, chapters 21 through 24. In the elementary, all of our channels will be weeks. 
We'll also use weeks for our English classes. Some of the other subjects in junior and senior high will be organized by chapters or maybe units. When I click on a chapter under an individual class, I can see here that there's also a separate post section. This will allow us to have more specified conversations about, well, chapter 21. I can also see here that there are files. The teacher can maybe upload things that pertain specifically to this chapter or week. It is really important to note that under the post section for each week or chapter, we call those channels, this is where the teacher will upload the daily lessons for me to watch. So for example, week 28, March 31st through April 3rd, when Mr. Ramirez starts uploading videos on March 31st, I will have a video to watch for each day of the week. All recorded lessons will be posted under the teacher's channels within his grade. The next tab over is the assignments tab. Now I'm sure this is gonna be one of our students' favorite places to visit. Well, to be honest with you, I'm really a principal and not a student, so I have a lot of classes. But let's take a look at some of the classes that I might have assignments for. Seventh grade, well, I know I have some English assignments, so let's click on English and then hit Next. Let's see here. I have an assignment due for English, Vocabulary Homework 18. It's due on April 3rd. Wow, I probably need to get on that. Let's take a look. Once I click on the assignment, I will receive further details. The teacher can also post how many points this assignment might be worth. So let's upload an assignment. Click Add Work. Now I could literally, if I wanted to, create a new file right here and do my homework, a Word document, a PowerPoint, or even an Excel sheet, but I don't really think I wanna do that on my phone. We'll save that for the computer. But maybe the assignment is an actual worksheet or a page in my grammar book that I need to take a picture of and upload. Simply click on the Upload from this device button. Now, I have a couple of options. I could take a picture of the workbook right now, or if I took the picture earlier, I can choose the photo from my library. I'm gonna choose it from my library. Can I be honest with you guys? I don't have any English homework to upload, but I sure do have a lot of pictures of my grandson. Well, maybe we can just upload one of those right now. I'll choose this one. Then I click Done. Now I've uploaded my vocabulary 18, uh, or my picture of my grandson, to give to Mr. Ramirez for my seventh grade English class. Don't forget, you need to turn this in. Click the Turn It In button in the top right hand corner. Well, there you have it. It's just that easy to turn your homework in. So let's review. The chat icon allows me to communicate with any teacher or even someone in my team. I have a video conference, a chat feature, email, or a phone call. Teams is the place where I can find all my classes. The general section of each class lists the posts and the files specific for that class. Keep in mind, when a teacher goes live for his homeroom or his office hours, it will always be in the general section under posts. There you will receive your invitation to join that meeting. And then there's the channels. A channel is a way to organize a class. All recorded videos will be stored under the post section of each class for that week, chapter, or unit. And then the assignments. Here's a quick and easy way to turn your homework in. Well guys, there you have it. Microsoft Teams for mobile devices.